Hi, my name is Rick Arrowwood, and I'm the chair of the Nonprofit Management Program here at Northeastern University. I wanted to begin today and talk to you a little bit about a nonprofit organization, and let's begin there. The nonprofit organizations, so many of us volunteer for them, perhaps we lead those organizations, or perhaps we donate to them. But have you ever wondered how did that nonprofit organization get started? The exciting part in the courses that you can choose from, for example, in the legal governance course, that course will take you through the process of starting a nonprofit organization at the state level as a corporation, not issuing stocks, all the way up to the federal tax exempt application status. In addition, that course, the legal course, will share with you ways that nonprofit organizations remain compliant at both the state and federal level. Nonprofit organizations are plentiful, they're out there, there's so many uh, exciting career opportunities within nonprofits, whether you are looking at uh, providing a service or joining a program or fundraising or financial management and the list goes on. So I encourage you to get involved with nonprofit organizations at all levels. These courses that you can select from will help you uh, with your career. Certainly if you're in the for-profit community, uh, one of the things that uh, for-profits often uh, encourage their employees is to volunteer on boards of directors. The other area I wanted to just share with you briefly are some of the challenges facing nonprofit organizations. Certainly, funding will always be a challenge in many nonprofit organizations. And it's a challenge from the perspective of not having enough money or perhaps having too much money. So when we say funding is a challenge, it can work both ways. Other areas of concern in nonprofits today would be succession planning, something that not a whole lot of nonprofit boards like to think about. But as the executive directors, as the executive leadership of a nonprofit ages, we need to be looking at how do we replenish that field with younger executives coming into nonprofit organizations. And then finally, other areas of concern would be project management. Uh, as foundations become much more um, in, important to the work of the nonprofit, so does the necessary evaluation and effective monitoring. And project management helps with grants, for example. Uh, finally, another area would be in terms of uh, IT. Um, as nonprofit organizations utilize uh, video um, and they utilize uh, social media, uh, IT is going to be really important. How do they uh, maintain security for uh, their donor databases, for example, and how do they stay current and relevant with the latest technology? Finally, I would encourage you to consider an XN project. Uh, how we refer to it, it's ex the experiential network, um, and consider that as a project within the, the nonprofit community. Uh, I think it's an excellent opportunity for you to go beyond the face of the organization and go inside to the internal workings of the organization. The courses that you can select from include legal governance in nonprofit organizations financial management in nonprofit organizations, and human resource management in nonprofit organizations. Any of those three courses will give you a great view inside the nonprofit organization.